Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one's entitled, Why is Planet X Here? Now, in Article 784, entitled The Earth Before the Flood Cataclysm, Before Planet X, I wrote about the changes that Planet X has caused on planet Earth and how it went from being a peaceful planet with no seasons, no storms, no plagues, no diseases, no earthquakes, no volcanoes, etc. Because all of these are Planet X effects, which therefore started at the time of the flood when Planet X first approached the Earth to being a planet in distress. And for more details on what Planet X is, you may look at Article 785 entitled Planet X is Here, but what is it exactly? And you can see some of these Planet X systems stellar cores. These are what Planet X is. And Planet X is basically the core systems of destroyed planets and stars. So these are part of these core systems. You can see there's a solid object there. They surround it in a gaseous cloud envelope. They create matter. They create these gases. And they make connections through these gases. You can see this one making a connection there in the sun's atmosphere. But first of all, only God could have created Planet X, and therefore God is the one in control of Planet X. The objects were created when the Planet X star systems were disconnected from the energy with which God sustains the universe. Matter creation is occurring all over the universe, and that requires energy. That energy is light. The universe is made of light, and God continuously sustains it by injecting light into it through the original supercore from which all that now exists originated. The supercore broke into smaller and smaller pieces until it filled the whole universe in the form of galaxies, stars, and planets. Each star is part of another large parent star, and planets are part of a parent star as the core that created the planet is a part of that star's core system and was originally inside the body of its parent star. This connection allows energy to flow from the parent star to the planet. And so all celestial objects are connected through their parent to the original super core. And so if the electrical connections from, a star, from star to star uh, to the star that created it and from one galaxy to another galaxy that created it were visible, this is what the universe would look like. It would look like a nervous system. And that's because there's plasma connections between all the objects in the universe because in order for a new object to be created, its parent object has to eject part of its own core system. So that new star was once inside its parent, it, and it remains part of its system, so they remain connected. So energy can flow from one to the other. And you may look at Article 651, entire planet X and the electrically connected universe. And this is illustrated in this diagram as well, how a supergalactic core broke into smaller and smaller pieces and remains connected to everything that broke off from it, out of which the whole universe was created. And every planet and every small star is connected through its parent star, through the globular cluster central star, to a galactic core, to another galactic core, eventually to that super galactic core. And so by injecting energy into the supergalactic core, energy flows from it towards all the other objects in the universe. But energy is required, and it requires God to inject energy into it. So God sustains the whole universe. And each star sustains its, its daughter star, or its sun star. And each small star is sustained by its parent, just the way that God sustains the physical beings or, and the spiritual beings that he has created. 
So the cores remain connected either through an electromagnetic connection, which requires no physical connection, or through a plasma connection. The plasma connection would explain why the universe is filled with plasma. The cores connect to each other with the matter which each creates. However, they most likely are connected both electromagnetically and through plasma connections, as it seems that both the Earth and the Sun sense the presence of the objects and react with CMEs or volcanic eruptions without there being any physical contact. And what we see here is the solid surface of one of these objects in the sky above the surface of the Earth. And you may look at Article 786 entitled Sky Blue Planet X inside the Earth's atmosphere for more details. And there I started out by showing how one of these circular, looks like a break in the clouds, is actually a curved surface. So these are actually the surfaces of these objects, and they're just hovering in, with, with one part inside the atmosphere. They're way too large to actually fit inside the Earth's atmosphere. It's just part of the object is dipping inside the Earth's atmosphere. And what we see here are two elliptical regions where cloud connection spouts can be seen. So these are cloud connection spouts, which suggests that this core was originally connected to two other cores through its or their cloud envelopes through these connections. These are connections through which it used to connect to other cores. But it seems that they have become disconnected because there's nothing connecting them anymore and they do not have the energy to create more material. Although they are absorbing energy, that's why they have a blue surface. But there isn't enough material here for them to uh, make a connection with another object or even the Earth's surface. But why would God allow the planet X stellar course to cause so much trouble for planet Earth? The planet X planets contain technologically advanced civilization on them, but were obviously not well administered as there was a lot of toxic pollution, disease, and even self-assembling implant type devices, which could only have been used to wage war on other planets. And you may look at Article 584, Planet X, the reason behind GMO crops. Uh, Article 731, chemical plant fires are purposeful. Planet X pollution cover-up. Article 665, green and black snow in Siberia is due to Planet X. Article 708, alien implants, self-assembling artificial life forms. And Article 686, entitled Planet X is causing infectious diseases in plants, animals, and humans. Which other planet is run like that? Yes, Earth, because Earth or the solar system was one of the planet X systems. And, I mean, a star system. And it had and still has the same leadership as the planet X star systems, which formed a vast galactic empire. Star Wars is based on reality. The Galactic Empire existed thousands of years ago. The leader is a shape-shifting reptilian called Lucifer, and he stole something which belonged to God, God's children. We are those children, spiritual light beings trapped in physical bodies. This is why planet Earth was not destroyed with the other planet X planets. And you may look at Article 6 to 4 entitled Planet X and the movie Star Wars reveal the truth about who we are. And I explained that in detail in that article. Instead, God himself paid the price to have us as his once again, if we choose to accept it. If not, we remain slaves to the reptilians as they are able to control the human mind by inputting their thoughts into it. This is how they build the system that they want through their workers, in other words, enslaved humanity, who do not have any idea that they are slaves and that they are living in a world that is based on lies, ruled by the father of lies. And here you can see uh, the cities that are coming into the Earth's atmosphere on pieces of broken planets, pieces of the destroyed, once vast, technologically advanced empire. 
and that's a galactic empire. And here's another one, more pieces um, of broken or broken pieces of planets with buildings on them suspended in the Earth's atmosphere. And it remains suspended for a while because the matter is low in gravitational energy. And the position of matter inside the gravitational field of a planet is not determined by its density, by, but by how much gravitational energy it contains. So they slowly absorb energy and slowly sink down towards the surface of the Earth. And here you can see a city from the movie Star Wars. And this is Dubai, the new Atlantis. All it now needs is a good spaceport, except that there may now not be any planets to go to since they have all been destroyed. So in conclusion, Planet X is just punishment on the reptilian race and specifically on their leader, Lucifer, that is running this planet. They stole what is God's. And so God created the Planet X system to come in and steal the energy from this planet. The flood destroyed the advanced civilization that was on the earth then, and it has taken them thousands of years to build it up to where it was, in other words, to where it is now. Although we do not see most of the truly advanced technology, except for what can be used to control us or destroy us. And now the time of the end has arrived and God is going to let Lucifer take over whilst at the same time Planet X destroys everything they have built over the last few thousand years as no city is likely to survive in the end, not even those that are on the ground. Only God can protect anyone from the destruction that Planet X will unleash on this planet as the number of systems coming in keeps increasing. And these are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.